Shrimp is tossed in a delicious batter and deep fried till super crispy. I'm super excited to share this recipe with you. We're going to be making shrimp pakoras. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. Welcome back to my channel. I made chicken pakoras a few weeks ago and using the same batter, we're going to be making shrimp pakoras. I have modeled this recipe against one of my favorite Indo-Chinese restaurants and I have to say this recipe came out pretty damn perfect. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. In this recipe, I'm using a combination of cooked and raw shrimp. I have 800 grams of raw tiger shrimp here. This is about 1.7 pounds. And I also have 200 grams of cooked salad shrimp. This is approximately seven ounces. I've shelled and deveined the tiger shrimp and I've cut it into small pieces. The cooked shrimp will stay whole. To make the pakoras delicious, we need a whole other bunch of ingredients. I'm going to start with three tablespoons of Shezwan sauce. This is my homemade sauce. I will leave you a link at the end of this video as well as in the description. If you don't have Shezwan sauce, you can also just use regular chili sauce. For bite, I'm adding two tablespoons of minced green chilies. I'm also going to add four tablespoons of minced ginger and another four tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm also going to add four tablespoons of sliced green onion. I'm adding in two tablespoons of fish sauce if you don't want to use fish sauce, you can also use light soya sauce. Add salt to taste and now I'm just going to give this a really, really good mix. You really don't have to do this, but the shrimp pakoras we buy are usually red. So I'm going to add in 1 8 of a teaspoon of red food coloring. I'm also going to add a half cup of diced coriander. Now for the batter. I've got a half cup of cornstarch and a half cup of flour. I'm going to add one cup of water, add salt to taste, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix this really, really well together. Pour this over the shrimp and mix the batter in. I'm now going to heat up my oil and once it gets nice and hot, I'm going to drop in spoonfuls of the shrimp batter. Allow the shrimp to cook and the batter to get nice and crispy. This should cook for at least three to five minutes. Once done, remove and drain on some kitchen towel. You can make these ahead, save it in your fridge and then just fry till crispy before serving.
These beautiful clusters of shrimp are big on flavor and texture. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me in Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoy this delicious recipe for shrimp pakora. I love making this now. I save so much money by not buying takeout and my kids and my husband just loves it. Before I leave guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as do ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you love this video, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Also, share it with your family and friends. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.